In this video with the Anking, I'm going to show you my five must-have add-ons for Anki, the ones that you should be using regardless of what you're studying. Here we go. All right, first I want to start off and say I actually have like 60 or more add-ons that I use, but I narrowed it down to my five favorites. If you want to go learn about more, this is our YouTube channel here. You click on the playlist tab, scroll down a little bit, find this Anki 2.1 recommended add-ons and additional add-ons. It's a whole playlist, videos on tons of different things. And I also, here's our website here uh, on this best add-ons page here. I have all of my favorite add-ons that I use. And here, if you click this link, we'll take you to a video that shows you how to install all of those in about five, 10 minutes. Now, if you click here, this is the Anki Mastery Course. I'll put a link for all of this in the description of this video. This is our Mastery Course, which essentially has lessons on everything to get you started with Anki, uh, which is really cool. We're really excited about that. Part of this is the Butler add-on, which will install over 60 add-ons automatically, just like that, and will also configure all of your settings. So super good if you're getting started with Anki, highly recommend it. And, but with that, I'm gonna start on number five, the image occlusion add-on. Now like I said, I've got videos on all of these add-ons that will go into more detail. So here's the video here and I'll put the links for all of these in the description of this video. Here's the image occlusion uh, add-on video that explains a little more than I'm gonna do but I made a deck here and we're gonna make an image occlusion card. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a card and there's this awesome button here that gets added when you install the add-on. So I'm going to click that and it's going to ask me what file do I want. Well, it's actually easier if you just screenshot to the clipboard. So I have screenshot to the clipboard on my Mac set to command three. You can set that in your system preferences. And I pulled up this here on abdomen anatomy just within the, uh, this is just Google. And I'm just gonna take a quick screenshot right here. And we'll go back over here. We'll add a card and like I said, same button. I'm gonna click that button and it's automatically gonna pull in that picture. I'm gonna scroll over so you can see this. And if you were trying to memorize a bunch of things like this for anatomy, or sometimes it works really well if you just have a PowerPoint slide and you just wanna make some quick flashcards because you wanna review them real quick, uh, you can just drag a box over these things, which is super nice. And then boom, voila, you can make three flashcards, one, two, three, just like that. And you can actually connect two of the boxes if you want. You can draw different shapes. There's all sorts of different things you can do with this add-on. And I talk a little bit more about that in that other video. But I'm gonna click this here and it's gonna say that we're gonna make three flashcards. So we'll do that, see, three cards added. And then we can go in here and view those so you can see kind of what it's like. There you go. So it's asking me, what is this one? We show answer, flip that over, and that's what it is. And then you can actually click this button to toggle the mask. So there you go. That's the image occlusion add-on. Let's move on to number four. Resize images in editor and the edit field during review close add-ons. All right, I know, I know, I kind of cheated and lumped two together, but they kind of have a similar purpose and they actually have some code that overlaps. Uh, my point was that you can resize images and this is really useful and you can edit your cards quickly. So here's one video on how to resize images. I actually have a second one specifically on the edit field during review add-on that was made before a lot of the updates, but it's still important to understand the add-on. And uh, I, I put this in here. So remember, we just made this flashcard for image occlusion. I'm gonna go back out to the decks. We're gonna go to this, I pasted the exact same image into a different type of card and whoa, like what's going on here, right? Like you don't want this, you don't want images this big and images are really helpful in your cards. Well, the edit field during review add-on, super cool. I'm gonna hold down command or be control if you're on a Windows and click. And you can see it adds this little blue box here. Now I can resize this image however I want, which is super nice, really quick. And then if you double click it, it will pop it back out. So I'm gonna hit escape and I'm gonna hit E to edit the card and bring that up. And we'll make this big and you can see this add-on actually makes it so that it shrinks them and you're in the editor just so that it's handy. But if I click the image, it's gonna allow me to edit it. And now you can see that it's full size. And so this is what it is actually. It will let me resize it however I want. And then if I click it again, it goes back to that shrunken size. And that add-on just makes it so it's easy and quick to go through your cards in the browser, even though you want the cards or the images bigger in the reviewer. And the same thing here, if you double click it, it goes back to its original size. So really handy add-ons that I highly recommend. With that, let's move on to add-on number three, the better tags and hierarchical tags family. And we'll also throw customized sidebar and fastbar in there too, because they're all related to the browser. 
I know, I know, I'm cheating again, but <laughs> these are all kind of things that just make the sidebar of the browser significantly better. So hierarchical tags is the one that's free. Um, the better tags add-on is if you're a Glutanimate Patreon. I think it's awesome, I highly recommend it, um, and he's awesome. He's contributed a lot to the add-on community. He actually made uh, or wrote the image occlusion that we just talked about. So, and here's the other video on customized sidebar and fastbar. I'll show you all those real quick here. So if I go to the browser, Browser. I'll blow this up. This add-on allows you to have a hierarchy to your tags. So you can see I have multiple tags here. That makes it really, really nice. And as you'll see with the next add-on, this can be super nice when you're organizing your tags. Now the customized sidebar add-on is also really nice because it lets you add in things like this today, the flags. It allows you to collapse the decks, collapse the note types. Otherwise, these would always be here and you kind of have to scroll through them, which is kind of annoying. So customized sidebar is also really nice and then the fast bar is this thing up here so that you don't have to go into these menus to find everything the ones you're going to use more often are right there so all of these are really nice better tags even lets you add these colors to your tags which is extra handy and number two is the better search add-on which will build on the one we just showed you Okay, this add-on is definitely one of my all-time favorites. I played a role in kind of testing it and getting it coming uh, out, and it was it's a really cool add-on. Here's this video specifically to that, but before that, it was called the Browser Search Box add-on, and, and I made this video on how to find cards and tags in the browser that's also really useful and involves using this add-on. I'm going to go to the browser, and like I showed you, I have this very complex hierarchy of tons of tags. Um, it actually is like never ending here. This is a giant medical school deck for those of you that don't are, aren't acquainted with it. And it's really well organized, but sometimes it's really hard to find exactly what you're looking for. Well, this add-on here actually lets you go in here and then if you type XX, it will pull up a search bar, but instead of searching through your cards, you're searching through your decks and your tags. And you can see here, which is a super cool feature. So like I can type in Rhett here, I can find Rhett Syndrome, which is a tag buried in there. Click OK and it'll pull up all of those cards. Now the other thing that's really cool is I've got this here, but say you notice I've got one card suspended and everything else isn't. You can filter that stuff out. Uh, sometimes that's kind of hard to pick up on. Well, it has this search dialog button here. And it'll help you to search for exactly what you wanted. Like say you're looking for cards that you added on a certain day or you edited on a certain day or that have a certain deck or tag or a certain, you know, I only want to search for content within a certain note type uh, within this specific field. I want to search for this. So all sorts of really, really powerful things that you can do with the Better Search add-on if you have a really big collection and you want to keep it organized. Highly recommend this add-on. So with that, let's move on to my number one favorite add-on, the Rememorize add-on, probably one of the most powerful add-ons out there. This one is so cool. I just, like, it took me over a year and a half before I found out how cool this is. So here's a video on the add-on itself that I made before I discovered how cool it is. This is just its basic uses. This video is like the advanced use and I would recommend it for all users seriously I don't it's an advanced technique yeah but like you should learn this so here's my collection here I'm gonna go to my statistics and show you why I would recommend this now the rememorize add-on has a you know simple function of you can reschedule cards to whenever you want while you're reviewing it that's nice it's cool I'll show you that in a second but this is the other cool thing notice how I've got a ton of cards tomorrow and not that many cards the next day. Now let's say I'm super busy tomorrow, but not that busy the next day. So I would prefer to do cards this day, but I have way more tomorrow. You can actually shift those around, and not only can you shift them around, you can selectively choose just the ones that are mature. So instead of a card showing up 21 days from when you last saw it, it shows up 22 days. Who cares, right? That doesn't make a big difference. So you can really tailor this to your needs. Okay, so the basic rememorize stuff, you go in here, and you. Uh, for me, it's a shortcut R, and it pulls this thing up. You can reschedule. You can put a negative sign in front of it to just reschedule the interval. You can, if you put it so that it's seven then it, oops then it's going to reschedule the interval at, or sorry I said that backwards if you, it's negative seven it's just the due date it's like burying it for seven days if it's like this if it's seven then you're actually moving it forward 
two seven days but from that point on it's going to keep going off of that interval as well and i explain that a little more in detail in the video if you want to learn a little more about that but let's go try this really cool thing with the statistics again i'm gonna pull this up just so you can see kind of what it's like here's this we're going to move these cards to this day okay so a few tricks you're going to need to know and this is where the better tag better search add-on actually comes in handy I already know this. I'm going to go prop. I notice the better search add on here is going to prompt me. I'm going to choose that. And I can say prop do equals one. That means tomorrow. Oops. Probably should delete this one. So prop do one equals tomorrow. There's zero is today, right? So this is how many cards there are tomorrow. There's 146. Notice if I put two, now we're down to 94. So tomorrow. And we could just pick a bunch of cards and move them or we can go prop interval greater than or equal to 21 days means mature cards only notice there's 44 mature cards due tomorrow well, I can select all of those and reposition them and I'm going to reposition these cards to day two remember one is tomorrow so I'm gonna reposition them to day two Say so, okay boom let's go look at my statistics stats Heck yeah, that looks so good, right? Now, what if I told you you could take everything from that day that you're really busy on, and let's say all of these are mature cards, you can take all of these if you just kind of wanted a day off and spread them over the next week, just randomly sprinkle them to kind of uh, spread it out. It's not something I recommend for the general user, but it is cool. Now, I probably should mention at this point, you do actually need to go to Tools Add-ons. I would recommend watching this video, How to Miss a Day. It'll go over this in way more detail. But if I go to the Rememorize add-on here in the config, you do have to have these enabled to true in order to make this work. So I'm going to do this again. Let's go back in here. We're going to go prop do equals one to so all the cards tomorrow. Now, I don't want to ruin my streak, so I'm going to select all but two. Oops. We'll select all but two of the cards, <laughs> and we'll do two cards tomorrow. Like I said, I don't necessarily recommend this to everyone. So notice I've selected 100 of 102. I'm going to reposition them. We want this to start, so we don't want to be busy tomorrow. So we want it to start on day two, and we'll spread it over the course of, you know, six days. And I'm just going to hit randomize because you need to do that. I wouldn't recommend messing with this checkbox here unless you really know what you're doing. So this means start two days so from now and then spread it over six days. So from day two to day eight, I'm going to click OK and randomize. Let's go look at what our statistics look like now. Boom. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I just randomly spread them over all of those days. Super powerful add-on. Even this when you're in the reviewer and you click uh, your shortcut to pull that up and reschedule. I actually use the negative seven a lot to kind of bury things for a week lots of very powerful things you can do with this add-on if you know what you're doing thanks for learning with the on king be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel here as well as follow us on facebook instagram or patreon that is at on king med also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website onkingmed.com for more tips and tricks